This gun was delivered 24th of December. Everybody knows what that date is, so we was very busy. We didn't get a chance to open it up and have a look. But what we got today is a DT11 Black Pro with a TSK stock. Now, what I'm going to show you, Paul, if you can just see, mate. Yeah, let's focus in. Focus yeah, let's read and all that. Right, this is unopened from the factory. So the last video that I did with the DT11 Black Pro was basically to talk about the gun, talk about some of the features. Now I wanted to do an unboxing video as much as you guys want to see an unboxing video. So what we've got today, DT11 Black Pro from the factory. So let's open that up. Have a little look. Do you mind bringing the camera? Yeah. Just here, Paul. And as I said with the last video, I think it was bolognese last time, but this time <laughs> you can smell the pasta. Alright? <laughs> that has not been touched by anybody. <clears throat> the last video that we did with the DT11. The stock had been, this basically the stock had been put in uh, over at GMK, but this gun comes from a factory with it. So let's see a few things, Paul. You've got a little accessory packet for the TSK stock. So you've got a few different Allen keys, as you can see. You have got a stock weight, as you can see. You've got some comb razors in there, or spacers, as some people would call them. Let's have a little quick look at the chokes. So, Beretta's Optibore HP chokes, which anybody that shoots a modern Beretta will know some of the best chokes about, without stepping into briley thin walls and stuff like that. But very, very nice choke. You've got Skeet there, red. You've got cylinder there, blue, and you've got improved cylinder, I think that is. Yeah, improved cylinder there in gold. And when we get the gun out and have a look, you will have green half, black three quarters. So nice little chokes. They so, normally colour them like that. Berettas, they do, they do black, they do silver, and then they do coloured. Now, if you look at Benelli, uh, and Ellie, if you look at Briley, they call it their Spectrum choke. Mm -hmm. I suppose anything to sell it, really. <laughs> Whoa! Would you look at that? Now that is a toolkit. Right, let's put it there. Oh, sorry, mate. So barrel weights, different barrel weights, firing pins, <laughs> stock weights. Uh, what was there? Yeah, a few bits and pieces there is a few bits in there, isn't there, mate? Now, normally, with all the other Brettas I've had, the barrel weights will come in a little packet and the stock weights will come in a little packet. But obviously, Bretta have managed to put that all in the accessories box. <clears throat> now, I'm going a little bit steady with this, Paul, because I'm I'm excited as well as everybody mm -hmm. to open this gun up and have a little look at it. So, let's open it up. Let's have a little look, see what she looks like. So, as I keep saying, Paul, this is direct from the factory. It's not been opened by anybody. And now, all Berettas used to come like this, Paul. And this is how you can tell that it had been opened, basically. So this tissue paper, yep. this has been wrapped up at the factory. Now I don't know if anybody's ever wrapped and unwrapped a Christmas present. I'm sure they <laughs> have in the last couple of days. It's not easy. So this is this is exactly how it comes from the Bretta factory. They even the silver pigeons used to get the grease uh, the tissue paper treatment at one point Paul. Hmm. But I'm sure it costs extra money so they don't get it anymore. <laughs> so there's your TSK stock. There's your TSK stock, and your barrels, your barrels, your barrels, your barrels, let's put that down there, let's put that down there. So 
same again, Paul, grease proof paper, wrapped from the factory, not been touched. Yeah. Now, I did say in one of the other videos that I enjoy opening the boxes because it is like Christmas every day. <laughs> well, that really is true to be honest with you. You'll never you'll never understand until you do it what opening your a, a brand spanking new gun that's not been catched is like. Well, that's it. It's see what it's like, the, the wood and that that's on it, it's always different, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a present, mate. It surely, surely is a present. So, with this stock, Paul, can you see that it's set in the middle, neutral? Yep. Now, that is exactly how it comes from the Bretta factory or the TSK factory. The other one that I had had been played with a little bit by a few different people uh the pitch is off ever so slightly there if you can oh, see yeah yep. so set for a lefty uh, right-handed lefty mm -hmm. set for a right-hander but yeah that's let's pop it together now how much time mate we've well, got we're on six and a half minutes we're on six and a half minutes okay Six and a half minutes. So, pop the gun together. Push your fingers. No. <coughs> Retta TSK adjustable. I don't think you could ask for much more adjustment on a competition sporting gun, to be honest with you. Now, I've had a, quite a few conversations with a few different people. They think that this stock looks um, very acquired in the taste. Now, I think for the price you're paying for this gun, which is about £9,500, I, mean, I can't even remember what the current trade price is for them, but they're quite expensive. I think that this stock is a far better feature than something like a custom walnut stock from the factory. Now, You'll talk to you'll talk to different uh, individuals, and they'll all have a different opinion. But what you've got with this gun is you can set it how you want it to feel. Now I will get a question from the odd person to say, "How do I know how it should feel?" Well, when you've done enough sporting clays and you feel that you're up to a competition level with this DT11 Black Pro. You'll have your own ideas of how you want it to feel. What I was trying to get to was, would I have this stock or would I have a, a custom-made walnut, walnut stock? I'd have this every time because the adjustability, you can, you can uh, set it for different weather conditions, obviously shorter and longer depending on the recoil pad that you've got. Depending on the coat you've got on is the main thing. Now, one of the things that I feel is this gun is uh, is an out and out competition gun, and this gun should serve you for the next ten or fifteen years hard service. Now, over the next ten or fifteen years, the more competitive you get, you will change shape, and this stock will change with you. Whereas something like a custom made walnut stock, of course we can have it adjusted at a later stage. You won't adjust it as easy as you'll adjust that, as you can see. Now, with the, the DT11 Black Pro, you've got your weighted fore end system. You've got internal external chokes, which, which will make a big difference. With this, Optimore HP chokes, now you've got overboard barrels, which here, just in front of the chamber, we start at 755 bore, and down here at the base of the choke here, we're at 729 of an inch, which is a nominal bore for a 12 bore shotgun. So tapered bores, which this gun has got, tapered bores are emulating choke, basically, from just in front of the chamber. As I said, Brett will tell you that that is the best in the world. There's a few other people out there that uh, disagree to say that it's not the best in the world, but hey ho, there's pros and cons to everything. So, yes, 
DT11, Black Pro, the, the DT action has been around for a long time, it's a very proven action, it's a, it's a, it's a medal winning action basically, slightly different to the DT10 but essentially very much the same gun to be honest with you. Now let's see if we can take the trigger unit out. Now, yeah, that's nice and easy. Now, I do think that that is a very nice touch to it, to be honest with you. Not just a detachable trigger, the fact that it's done in carbon fibre, it's, whether it means a lot, it does look very pretty, to be honest with you, and it's, uh, it's quite a piece of craftsmanship, to be honest. Yeah, it's just one of those things, if you like it, you like it, if you don't like it, you'll never like it. Uh, come on, brain. Uh, detachable triggers is is sort of the norm on higher end guns to be honest with you nowadays some do detachable side locks some do them some do detachable trigger locks i'm sure there's a video on youtube somewhere that shows you how to put this trigger group in and out i'm not going to try and show you how to do it because i'm not the best instructor in the world to be honest and let's hope we can get this in one go oh <clears throat> oh, 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 that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. Now, obviously, we've done a little video. The adjustability that you've got on this stock is infinite. You will never, never get to the end of it. With the length of pull, with the different recoil pads you can put on it, with the cone, with the pitch, with the drop, the, it, you'll, you'll never, never get to the end of this. Also, with the weighting system underneath the fore end there, you've also got your barrel weights that you can put at different intervals on the barrel. And that is before we've even started moving on to internal chokes, external chokes, extended external chokes. But you can put both on that. You can have internal chokes and external. For it to do, for it to do internal and external chokes for this gun. Now, I've done a lot of research on internal and external chokes, Paul, and I reckon the internal ones are give you back pads, but whether that's true or not, I've not taken the time to go out in the field and shoot different cartridges at different distances at pattern plates. It's not me, to be honest with you, mate. I might do it one day in a video, but now, you do internal or external, I believe that is about three quarters of an inch, might be an inch, to be honest with you. But some manufacturers will offer two inch extensions, some will offer three inch extensions. So that's your chokes, your barrel weights, the weights underneath the fore end, which it's got a nice beaver tail. Beaver tail, I was gonna call it something else then, but it's not. And if you get in the shop and you have a look at a DT11 Black Pro, it's also a tapered, so it's wider at the front than it is at the back, basically. <clears throat> and as with a lot of Bretta's stuff, Paul, the fit and finish on this is impeccable. Yeah. The checkering is done beautifully. The blacking is done beautifully. Now, one of the things that I haven't seen anybody mention, we've got carbon fibre top rib on this gun, I think it's a great shame that Bretta have made that a tapered. It's a parallel rib. Can you see if that's... Focusing in for <coughs> Let's move the camera and we'll uh, make sure it does. It's a parallel. So it's 11 mil at the back, 11 mil at the front. Yeah, I think it's just coming out. If I lean it down yeah. there, can you can you sort of go back and see that it doesn't taper? Let's run along it. So it's a... It's a parallel Oops, knock that over. Whoops. It's a parallel rib basically, Paul. Yep. On a nine and a half thousand pound gun. <laughs> that's taking the Mickey a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Bretta should have thought yep. about that. Well I did notice in the in the box there was two beads. I thought one of them might have been a mid bead, but there ain't No. If you watch some room. of the Bretta videos, Paul, they've got a white bead here. Yeah. And you can do a red. Or you can do a different size red. Paul, we're done, mate. I think we've okay. gone through everything. If you want to have a look at one of these guns, please pop in the shop. Very, very nice. Very, very nice.
Beretta out and out competition sporting gun basically. Thank you very much everybody. Let's keep doing these videos.